Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at another amulet um, and that amulet is the Cat's Eye Amulet. Uh, the Cat's Eye Amulet is only level 50 and uh, does have some rather interesting effects and can come in handy in certain builds. Um, there are some interesting things that, uh, that having a massive amounts of faster run walk can allow you to do and we'll talk about those. Uh, so right off the bat, we have 30% faster run walk, and that is static. So it does not change um, when you find this item. 30% faster run walk is absolutely great for a lot of characters. And um, believe it or not, if, if combined with some very nice boots and other faster run walk items, you can actually make your character start to run so fast that uh, you could literally walk instead and maintain that very nice um, defensive bonus. Um, a lot of people have started to figure this out is that if you can make your character run exceedingly fast, you don't necessarily have to be running to get a, a reasonable speed and if you are walking at a very nice pace um, you can maintain all of your defensive bonuses um, without having to uh, to give up too much of your run walk speed because that's one of the biggest things about walking is that you're very slow we also have a 20 percent increased attack speed on this so not only does it make you run faster it also makes you attack faster which is very very nice uh, 20 percent ias is absolutely great um, any character that can utilize IAS, like for instance a Zeal Paladin, a Frenzy Barbarian, um, you know, those particular characters, like an Amazon who, uh, who really wants to get around, maybe a Javazon, for instance, who, uh, who would like to just kill as quickly as possible and run around as quickly as possible, could be very interesting on them. And um, it also gives you a static 100 defense uh, versus everything. And then another 100% 100 defense versus missile, not 100%, just 100 defense. Um, and then it also gives you 25 dexterity, which, believe it or not, also gives you defense and also gives you block chance. So as you can see right now, I have 19% chance to block. And when I put this particular amulet on, you will notice that my 19% chance goes up to 30 because that dexterity gives me a rather large bonus to my percent chance to block. This amulet also gives me a pretty nice hefty amount of extra defense, 3,295 from 3,188. And when I uh, activate my holy shield, uh, for instance, on my paladin, uh, that small amount of defense balloons out to be about uh, about five or six hundred, which isn't bad. Um, now, really, the benefit of this particular item is that uh, it makes you run faster, um, it makes you attack faster, and uh, and it gives you a little bit of extra defense in the process. The dexterity can also come in handy if you are a uh, a person who needs high dexterity to equip items, uh, like maybe you are a Javazon and you're using. Um, you know, an upgraded Titans, and uh, and you would like to get that dexterity bonus um, so that you don't have to put the points into dexterity to utilize the item. It can be interesting to work this into your build. Um, honestly, I feel like this really has a lot to do with just simply running around really fast and attacking really fast. Um, and, uh, and it really is focused on that specific ability. Um, they want you to be able to get in and out, and they want you to uh, to be able to attack quickly while you were in there as well. Um, Cat's Eye Amulet is uh, utilized in a lot of builds, from what I can remember. Um, most specifically, uh, Bosons tend to really like to use the Cat's Eye Amulet, um, as well as Javazons. I've seen a lot of Javazons utilize this amulet. And um, I've also seen a lot of... Uh, believe it or not, trap assassins and kick assassins use this, uh, specifically for the ability to just run as fast as humanly possible. Um, when you start to realize that you can maintain all of your defensive mechanics, your block chance and your defense while you are running, it actually comes in really handy to have an extra 30% faster run walk on your on your amulet. Um, and you can stack that with, for instance, I believe Enigma has run walk on it. You get some nice 40% boots. Um, you can get yourself a, a helmet that has run walk on it, which I believe uh, the Valkyrie wing helmet has run walk. You can get yourself some charms that have run walk, things like that. And before you know it, you're you're going to be rocking. I mean, just just like <laughs> like glitching around the map, basically, from how fast you run. And uh, and it even stacks on top of things like frenzy, uh, barbarians frenzy, which also increases your run walk. Um, I remember one time, a long time ago, there was this guy. He actually came to me and told me about 
his uh, frenzy barbarian, which he was focusing on trying to get to the like the highest breakpoint that you could possibly get for run walk. And uh, he said once he got it, like he he literally ran around and the game just like immediately crashed, which I thought was pretty hilarious. Um, you could also theoretically use Harmony, which is the Vigor Bow, on Switch with this, and you could run even faster. Um, and I do think it's important to uh, compare this to something like High Lord's Wrath, which also has increased attack speed on it, but it has plus the skills, which Cat's Eye doesn't. Um, and if you were to compare them really closely together, what you're looking at is um, an increase in Run Walk, versus an increase in Deadly Strike. Now, if you're a character that has relatively high Deadly Strike, like an Amazon, Amazons tend to have, you know, relatively nice Deadly Strike. They, uh, well, Critical Strike, rather. They don't really necessarily need the Deadly Strike that's on High Lord's Wrath. Uh, the plus one, the skills, would definitely be nice, but if you're comparing it against the 30% faster run walk, maybe you're a type of character who just really likes to get around as fast as possible, and the plus one, the skills, isn't really that important to you. Um, these are the kind of considerations that you take into account. And I feel like Cat's Eye Amulet really kind of comes in um, on characters that already have really good Deadly Strike or really good Critical Strike. They don't necessarily need the, the Deadly Strike and they don't necessarily need the plus one to all skills. Uh, like maybe they're a Strafe Amazon or maybe they are a, um, a Lightning Javazon or maybe they are a... Uh, an ice Amazon or something like that. It, it, it's it's kind of hard to give an exact answer when it comes to who specifically this one would be absolutely best for. Um, it really comes down to your build and what you are trying to achieve. Um, and that's the really the fun thing about a lot of these amulets is that um, is that what you are trying to achieve is important. Um, if you're trying to achieve like the fastest runs possible where you're literally zipping around like the flash, then the Cat's Eye Amulet is probably going to be the one. Um, if you're trying to build up a character who has no critical strike and he ne really needs deadly strike, then perhaps High Lords is the superior choice there. And, uh, and, and at this point, that's exactly what's going on. Is you've got to figure out uh, which one is the best for your specific build. Um, let's also talk about where you can find this particular amulet. Um, so I like to go over to Silo's Pen. I think this is the easier way to do this. And, uh, and we're going to look up the um, Cat's Eye Amulet. And uh, the Cat's Eye Amulet is... Bing, bing, bing. Where are you, Cat's Eye Amulet? All right, so according to um, Silo's Pen... L and Doriel is probably the best chance for this particular item to drop. Um, there's also a fairly good chance for Cat's Eye to drop from Nightmare Mephisto, as well as Nightmare Bale, uh, and my Nightmare Diablo. Uh, those are some pretty good choices. Um, and then if we take a look at these super uniques, um, which are a little bit easier to get to than the bosses, um, we are looking at... Uh, Neelithak in normal difficulty, for some reason, has a okay chance at it. Uh, we also have um, Neelithak in Nightmare Difficulty has a pretty good chance at it. And uh, the Summoner in Hell Difficulty has a pretty good chance at it. So not, not a lot of really good choices there as far as like probability. Um, a lot of these are like really, really bad probabilities. But uh, for some reason, Neelithak in Normal Difficulty can drop the item. I, didn't, uh, I, I honestly would not have expected that. Um, unless Silas Pen is lying to me. Lies! Large. Hmm. All right, well, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when they're not as long as uh, some of the others. Uh, these amulets and rings and things like that, you can't upgrade them and you can't, um, you know, socket them. So there's less to talk about and more along the lines of, you know, how good is the item and what classes can they be used on? As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.